my gosh! Holy schmoly! Thank you for watching KBD Productions TV. Just west of the beautiful city of Toronto in Mississauga are two amazing restaurants. One you already know called Krispy Kreme Donuts and the other called Gladiator Burger and Steak you will definitely have to add to your bucket list. First up is Gladiator Burger and Steak for a huge burger called the Gladiator with a side of fries and a frosty chocolate shake. Then we head over to Krispy Kreme Donuts to try out their Christmas themed donuts and grab a bunch of their regular, freshly made, right off the conveyor belt, Circles of Heaven. Before we start this video, consider hitting that subscribe button, clicking the like button, and turning on the notification bell. Thank you. If this food adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. Made it safe and sound down to Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. And off to my left is Gladiator Burger and Steak. Uh, I cannot wait to get in there just because of you guys. The food looks phenomenal. Check out what they have on their Instagram. Check out all these amazing masterpieces. They've got steak, they've got burgers, they've got chicken. Check out this monstrosity. Does that look amazing or what? So let's go in there, grab one of their probably classics, which would be a Gladiator bacon and cheese. We'll grab some fries, we'll grab a milkshake, come back here and eat it with you guys. Are you ready? Let's go get some food. Check out all this freaking amazing food. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be doing, where to go? Hey, right here, the Gladiator. Bacon, two strips of bacon, cheese, caramelized onions, tomatoes. Yeah, let's do that. Hello, how you guys doing? All right, I wanna try your Gladiator burger with the bacon and cheese. And uh, I'll do the fries too. Uh, go medium, please. And uh, chocolate milkshake. That sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, man. Yeah. Of course. I'm sure you guys are worth it, right? Thank you. Sure, of course. All right, I'm 70. Gotta wait. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. After you. All right, let's eat. Woohoo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Oh my goodness, I've been looking for forward to this. Since yesterday, I thought of coming here because of you guys. So the grand total after taxes and tip is $29.79. But check this out, $5 milkshake, $5.50. Very Pulp Fiction, $5 milkshakes. Look at the size of the straw they give you. That's how thick this is gonna be. Check that out, oh my goodness. That, it looks yummy. That's brilliant using those big straws, it's easy to get the milkshake up a straw like that. You're not struggling too hard. Let's open up this bag. I cannot wait, man. Oh my, this is gonna be crazy. Okay, take out the fries first. Put that down right there for a second. How am I supposed to get that out of there? I need like a forklift or something. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that thing. Ooh la la. Let's dump out everything else that they gave me. Lots of napkins, holy ketchups. Just for your information, they gave me 11 ketchups. I've never been given 11 ketchups at a burger joint, but congratulations, you guys win. All right, guys, I have everything laid out. Took my pictures for social media. Let's do the old hand wash. Lots of sanitizer. Making sure we're all safe and sound, germ-free. All right, all clean. Let's go in for a close-up. Check out this feast. I am going to be stuffed. First up. Chocolate milkshake, super thick. Do the thick test. 
I can barely get the straw out. Like I said, I'm gonna need a forklift to lift things. So much food. And over here we got perfectly cooked golden fries. Let me know if you like the skin on or the skin off. And then over here, check this out. Look at that bun, they got a stick in the top, making sure that it all stays together. We're gonna try and pull that stick out one-handed. Come on, you can do it. I just don't want it to pull apart just yet. Let's see if we can lift this lid off. Look at that shiny lid. Fresh test, definitely fresh buns. We've got a little bit of a toasted lid right there. Down here we've got bacon. I, don't, I think they called it beef bacon. So I've, I don't think I've ever heard anybody call bacon beef bacon, but obviously it's uh, bacon made from beef. And we've got that sauteed onion action happening. Tons of their aioli sauce all drizzling out the sides. You can barely see the beef, but there are two six ounce patties, I believe. And that lettuce is trying to save the bottom bun from being saturated and it's not doing a good job. It is losing the battle, ladies and gentlemen. It is definitely losing the battle. Well, let's get into it. Another quick sip before we start. Get the taste buds and the juices flowing. And we definitely gotta go in for those french fries. That's a big bat. I'm glad I went medium, guys. I don't think you need anything more than a medium. I definitely don't want to see what their large looks like. Ooh la la. That fry had a bit of the aioli sauce on it. The gladiator Aio aioli. And it's pretty good. These fries are still hot. Exactly the way I like my fries. I like many different styles of fries, but this is definitely the ones of the ones that I like for this kind of a meal. I'm going to dump a few on this. Oh, look how length of that one. Ooh la la. There we go. I am already going to predict this is a do not recommend eating it in your car type meal because it is crazy messy. The, again, some of the things on their um, their web page and especially their Instagram, some of the concoctions that they sell is a $19 burger, but I don't think you could eat it anywhere but in the restaurant. I, I'm not even sure how you'd even take it home. Anyway, let's see if we can lift this thing up. It is stuck to the paper. That's a good sign. <laughs> My gosh! Holy schmoly! Scratch that! Sniff that! Oh my goodness, people. I am definitely gonna be satisfied eating here. I can gladiator burger. Oh my gosh, can I get my mouth around that? Can I? Can we do it? I want to try this bacon, man. Let's just see if we can get in there. Ugh. Mm. The dripping of the juices. I'm gonna drip onto my fries. It's probably all over my face. I'm gonna turn it a bit. I couldn't get the top bun. I did get the bacon and a couple of the patties. I think there's a tomato on there too. Let's take another bite. I'm gonna squish it a bit. That is a beautiful tasting burger. I apologize. That's all over my face. But that's just the way it's going to go for the next few bites. I'm going to be wiping my mouth more than I'm going to be eating. So screw it. I'm just going for it. Mm hmm. That is a beautiful tasting burger. I'm going to try and do like three bites and then wipe my mouth. Or should I just go for it? I don't know. Mmm. There's a pickle. That steam is just rising from that burger. I have to do another close-up for you guys because look at how much meat that is. As you can see, the problems I'm having trying to get the bun, the bacon, patty one, patty two, tomato, pickle, and bottom bun all in one bite is almost impossible. My, my jaw is loosening up. We might be able to uh, nail the next couple bites, but yeah, you gotta squish it down because that is crazy amount. And they even have a three patty burger. Are you kidding? 
Are you kidding me? Are you not entertained? All right, let's eat. Gotta love that movie. Are you not entertained? Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I got way more juices in that one. Of the aioli. It's got a nice sweet taste to it. And that pickle is definitely helping. Still dripping. Do you have a big mouth? Could you eat that? I can't. No, oh, yes, I can. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had a burger that tasty, that juicy, so much stuff going on, and their house aioli is phenomenal. I'm so glad I have such an awesome following and subscriber base to tell me about amazing places like this so then I can experience it just like you. And I hope if you haven't experienced, you might want to come down and give it a shot because it is this good. I hope I'm doing a good job. Mm. Mm hmm. This lettuce is starting to bug me. I'm just flopping around. I'm going to rip a piece off, put it on top. Rip that off, put it on top. Because I just don't like it dangling there like that. It's kind of bugging me. Uh, this is, I'm going to need a shower. Do my hands. My face. I'm glad I didn't just put a napkin down. Because there is a puddle on my tinfoil wrapper. And I'm glad that's not leaching through. Two more bites, man. And that I'll do it. Maybe three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a dip into the puddle here. There we go. What a wonderful tasting burger, man. Wow. Use a fry. Look at that. Good to the last drip. Mm -hmm. Time to clean up. Gladiator Burger. Thanks for all the napkins. They're coming in super handy, but I think you gotta up, upgrade your napkin game because these little flimsy napkins, this is, I think I'm on my fifth napkin and I'm still, still cleaning. Like, I'm going through napkins like, like crazy to try and be as clean as I can. Oh, what a, oh. You guys need to offer a shower service. This is ridiculous. And a car detailing service on the side. Because my car reeks of burger and fries. Next video we do, I'm going to try and get a vanilla one. Especially if I come here. The stick is definitely coming in handy. All right, guys. All done that amazing feast here at Gladiator Burger and Steak. And managed to salvage six napkins for the next time I come by. That will definitely come in super handy. So if you're hungry for an amazing burger, check out Gladiator Burger and Steak. There are two locations. Uh, one here in Mississauga and one just north of here. Uh, give either of those two locations a shot. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this place. I guarantee you'll love it. All right, let's tidy this all up and then head over to Krispy Kreme Donuts for some holiday Christmas donuts. So it looks like Krispy Kreme Donuts is only 4.6 kilometers away. Let's go. Made it over to Krispy Kreme. Let's go in there and grab some Christmassy desserts. How are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna do uh, at least one of each of your Christmas donuts, and then uh, the rest will be uh, your regular donuts, please. Yeah. Hi. That's everything. Have a good day. All right. Time to 
Mm. All right, let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? So these Krispy Kreme donuts came out to $11.25 Canadian, and they've got these beautiful boxes. Beautiful Christmas boxes, look at that. Imagine getting that on Christmas. First thing in the morning, Christmas morning. Santa! Oh my God! Oh, smells great. Imagine like going there, getting the fresh donuts right off the line, get home, put it under the, the Christmas tree and everybody gets up and everybody gets one of these and they can just open that up. And that's your Christmas breakfast morning right there. Eggnog and Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, check out these awesome Krispy Kreme donuts. We're gonna go in over here first. The only thing she misunderstood was I wanted the minis as well, but uh, that's all right. So they have two other kinds of donuts, two mini donuts, and that's the only two she didn't give me. So we're gonna be looking at these. We've got the Christmas sprinkle, the Christmas tree, the Santa belly, and over here, the Christmas present. And of course, when my wife knew I was going to Krispy Kreme, she's like, you gotta get me some of those regular Krispy Kreme donuts, one of her favorites of all. And I've got her a whole bunch of early Christmas presents that she's gonna have to eat now. Can't wait for Christmas. Just like Christmas Eve, you always get to open up one present before Christmas. Uh, that was one of the rules in my family. As a kid and as a parent, we used to do that. So let's oh, look, check this one out. I, I haven't done any research on this whatsoever. So I'm gonna be biting into these and finding out what they are. I just knew the names of them. You've got this little hard candy sugar thingy on the top saying nice. He's on the naughty list. No! <laughs> All right, check out that icing. We got the green, we got the red drizzle, and inside, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Let's just take a bite and find out. Just a, um, hmm, very sweet donut. The icing on the top is lovely. And of course, the um, famous Krispy Kreme donut recipe is phenomenal. And that is just tastes like icing at the moment. It's a, a very sweet um, yellow icing in there. Let's take another bite. I'm not tasting anything like lemon or or anything like that. It just tastes like a regular colored icing. But again, it's really sweet. I'm thinking it's eggnog. It's an eggnog flavored center. It's not bad, I like this one. But let's move on to the next. Next up is this Christmas sprinkle donut. Again, it's probably on their regular donuts, dipped in chocolate, then heavily sprinkled, and it's gonna be crunchy and yummy. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna have to go on a couple walks tomorrow, maybe a bike ride, Krispy Kreme. The chocolate you guys use is really nice, rich. It almost tastes like dark chocolate. It probably is um, milk chocolate, but it tastes like dark chocolate and it tastes, it offsets the sweetness of your um, glaze that you have on this one. Let's do another bite. So soft and fresh. I like this one. This one's good too. I have a feeling I like all of them. I definitely need to cleanse the palate after eating those two. Woo. This one's supposed to be Christmas tree, but as you can tell, it looks like maybe the star, like the Christmas tree goes to a point on the top and the bottom, which is a little confusing. They must've been in a rush to make this one because it almost looks like it should be this way and the star should be on the top. Do you agree or disagree? Start writing, I'll start biting. <laughs> Holy cow. That's a lot of icing. Was not expecting that. Like a red velvet icing, but that is a lot of icing, man. Look, if I squeeze it, no, you don't want to squeeze that. Okay. Again, 
Every single one of these donuts is really sweet. <coughs> it's that sweet. I'm gonna take another bite. Oh, oh. Mm. And again, it's the, the whole color combination that they're using, your white, your green, and then of course your green and your red for Christmas. All the colors are well chosen to make these donuts, well designed. I'm gonna lick that and uh, see if I can get any more flavors out of it, just in case. Mm -hmm. I bet that's gonna stain my tongue. All right, last but not least, we've got the Santa belly. I'm gonna look for a little more evidence this time. It looks like we have maybe a chocolate filling. Yeah, I'm gonna go with chocolate. Let's bite Santa's belly right here. We're gonna go right for the belt buckle. <laughs> oh my goodness. My blood sugar level is going through the roof. You like sugar, huh? Is there sugar in syrup? Yes. Then yes. Holy cow. Once again, very sweet donut. That chocolate filling is not bad. But again, they've got sugar on sugar on sugar, and inside the sugar is more sugar. So if you have a very, very sweet tooth and many very sweet teeth, you'll probably like this one. Um, I probably won't get this one again either. Again, the present and the uh, the sprinkle uh, donuts are my two favorites. Uh, these ones are just crazy sweet. Once again, they're good, but just too sweet. And of course, being here at Krispy Kreme, uh, she turned around and she got fresh Krispy Kreme donuts right off the conveyor belt. As you can see them making them right there in front of us. And they're still warm. Oh my gosh, I remember the very first time I don't know, was it 12, 15 or more years ago when they first came to Canada? And we there was one in Richmond Hill. Some of you guys in Richmond Hill might remember when they first had one there. And I went in there and I saw them making them and they literally were pulling them off the vat or off the conveyor belt and then giving them to you. And, you're, and they used to give them to you in line, remember? Somebody would come out and give everybody a donut in line. And then you bit into it just like right now. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my gosh, that beats any one of those other donuts. They were fun to eat, but Krispy Kreme, this is one of the number one donuts probably in the world. You guys make great donuts. Mm -hmm. It is so fresh, and it's again, it's still warm, and it just tastes like a bakery. And, and again, back in the day, uh, a lot of donut stores actually had the bakery part of the donut store in the back and you could always smell them making fresh donuts all day long and i'm so glad Krispy Kreme still makes the donuts in house that you can watch them making it they pull them right off the conveyor belt and then you get to enjoy it as much as i'm enjoying it let me know in the comments below if you love Krispy Kreme donuts again keep writing keep typing and i keep eating mm. if heaven was round It'd be a donut. What do you think? <laughs> Woo! Love it! All right, guys, I had an absolutely amazing day driving on down to Mississauga, hitting up Gladiator Burger and Steaks, enjoying that wonderful burger, those fries, the milkshake, and then heading on over to Krispy Kreme, trying for their holiday donuts, and then enjoying that last regular donut from Krispy Kreme was like the piece de resistance. All right, guys, if you love my videos and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that playlist right over there, and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.